Well, hello everyone. It's Richard Kadish, owner and broker in charge of Go Gated Realty, Hilton Head Island in Bluffton, South Carolina. Today is July 27th, 2014, and we're in Bluffton out on Route 170 at Mill Creek at Cypress Ridge. This is a DR Horton community, and we're here today to preview this new DR Horton home. It's one of their best sellers. It's called the Cumberland. And this Cumberland model has 2,992 square feet. It has four bedrooms, three and a half bathrooms, and a bonus room. Screen porch. It has a lot of the things that people are looking for today. Big open floor plan, wood floors, granite countertops. We're gonna walk through and see if it could possibly be for you. This home that we're seeing here is not the one that is currently for sale. This one is sold. This is uh, uh, one that we're looking at so that we can see if you would like to have one built for you. And I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent. It's actually listed with D.R. Horton, of course, the developer and builder of the home. And I'm showing it to you as a buyer's agent. Again, my name is Richard Kadish, K-A-D-E-S-C-H. And my company, ladies and gentlemen, is Go Gated Realty. And I'm the Gated Community Specialist. Both Go Gated Realty and Gated Community Specialist are federally registered trademarks. And this new Cypress Ridge section of Mill Creek has larger homes, newer homes than the original section, which is there in the distance. And in the middle of the community is one of the really nicest recreation centers of any of the uh, communities around with a large swimming pool. It has what's called the Lazy River, which is kind of a resort style pool. And uh, they have two tennis courts, basketball court, fitness center. Uh, the annual HOA here in Mill Creek is just $1,320 a year. All of this is included. Here you see looking along the street here, which is uh, um, our, our, our street heading into the new community, Blakers Boulevard. New homes down the street. This is a new community. We're out here for several reasons. One of them is that I work with a lot of people as a buyer's agent who are looking for new homes. And part of what I do as a buyer's agent is I help you compare builders, developers, communities, new homes to resales. It's a big part of what I do these days because a lot of people are investigating a new home. Second thing is that out here on the west side of Bluffton, it's a very hot market. One of the hottest markets anywhere. Many people come over here who uh, work in Savannah, uh, who work on Hilton Head Island. They find that they get a lot more money for their, uh, a lot more house for their money out here in Bluffton. And the third reason I'm showing you this home is that I can talk to you just a bit about what it is to be a buyer's agent working with new developers and new, new homes rather from developers. As we walk through, I'll talk to you a little bit more about that. This is one of the options of this model, the Cumberland, that has the brick facing here at the front, the rest of the house having uh, vinyl. And you have uh, different options. You can have stone fronts, uh, you can have, of course, all vinyl. It's nice to have an accent though. And of course, with these builders, as you add the features, the price goes up. This one's pretty much loaded though, and not, not trying to speak for the builder and their prices. This one is currently listed. When I say this one again, I mean another one like this is currently under construction, listed at 314,900. Well, let's walk through, get a better look at it. You have a carriage style uh, garage door here. Of course, it's a vinyl garage door for a two-car garage. Nice keystone there over the uh, transom, looking good. And we have a concrete driveway and a concrete walkway leading up to a covered front entrance with a double wooded door. Windows all around to bring light into our foyer. Looking very good, keeping this front door out of the weather. Well, let's go on inside and let's see how many of the features appeal to you. First up, of course, is our first impression. We walk in and we see a wood floor just for as far as the eye can see, right through our foyer entrance, right across the entire living room. We're gonna see that that includes the hallway and the dining area. And we can see that at the back of the living room here, which is clearly a large open space, 
We have high transom windows, high ceilings, high flat ceilings. Really bringing in the light, looking very good. We have two uh, really nice looking rounded uh, smooth pillars here at the end of our foyer entrance, giving us just a, a, a strong uh, touch of class. And looking up, we have a uh, octagonal recessed ceiling, once again setting the foyer off from the living room and just giving us just a real nice design. Now here is the stairway to the second floor. We have three bedrooms on the first floor. Uh, one of the things that many of my buyers are looking for is a master bedroom on the first floor and possibly two bedrooms. Well, this has three bedrooms on the first floor, a second floor bedroom, and a large bonus room on the second floor. Immediately to the right here, we have a half bath, sometimes called the guest bathroom because it doesn't have a tub or a shower, but that serves your uh, needs right here with the uh, pedestal ceramic sink. They have not yet hung the uh, wall mirror here, but that's your half bath, ladies and gentlemen. Another checklist that many of my buyers respond to is the chair railing and the wainscoting. You have that right at your foyer entrance, makes a very nice contrast with the wood floor, doesn't it? And we come past the pillars and into our living room. Here we have the full appreciation for this beautiful open floor plan. Again, this is the Cumberland, ladies and gentlemen. Not the only beautiful home that DR Horton offers, but one of their best sellers. And this in turn is open to the kitchen. Yes, it has granite tops. One of the, again, the checklist of things that people are looking for today. You have your choice of granites. And again, this particular house, no longer for sale. I'm just here previewing this and showing it to you as the equivalent of a model home. The equivalent of a model home. Coming down the breakfast bar, here's our dining area with the wainscoting all around. The big windows, triple windows, triple transoms. And over here to the back, and that leads out to a screen porch. These lots, by the way, have various views, which are wooded views, they have some lagoon views, um, and we just have to, the combination, by the way, is you pick out your lot and you pick out your model of your home. Now, when you come to a community like this with a production builder like D.R. Horton, yes, you must build with D.R. Horton. You cannot buy a lot and hold on it and build later or your own home or anything like that. You must build with this developer. Their prices are very competitive. And the reason we're here is because I do like them. I like their company. I like the quality of the home they build. I have to tell you, I used to be a custom home snob and I sold real estate on Hilton Head Island and still do for 36 years. But when my wife and I moved to Bluffton, well, I have to tell you my perspective changed. And it changed in a couple of ways. Number one is that I realized what a fantastic place Bluffton is to live in. And my wife and I both love living in Bluffton but I also realized that many of the builders, developers like D.R. Horton really do build a great home and can be a lot of fun to work with and save you a lot of time. The co costs are controlled, no guessing, no sudden surprises about change orders and price increases and things like that. So there are some real benefits to working with a builder like D.R. Horton. Well, here's our breakfast area. And you see that this particular model has a little desk there, a little alcove with a desk, a kitchen desk, and there's a little pantry there, which is great. The wood floor, as you can see, comes right through this breakfast area, the kitchen area, out across this big living room with this informal plan. People tell me all the time they want an open plan, light and bright, with high windows, high flat ceilings. I think that's what we're looking at here, ladies and gentlemen. That's why the Cumberland is one of the best sellers for this developer. In this case, they have the stainless steel appliances and the dark cabinets. And here at the end of the uh, kitchen, here's our laundry room. Tile floor here. You have a window in your laundry room. Here's a simple shelf. That's where your washer and dryer will go. And so part of the process would be to pick out the appliances to decide for a room like this, would you like some cabinets there? Would you prefer just a simple metal shelf? 
Those are the types of decisions you make. What kind of light fixtures would you like? Would you prefer to have a hanging fan? What kinds of appliances, granite, cabinets? It makes all the shopping, one-stop shopping. Well, I don't usually start over here on the garage and everything, but let's just look in here. Real quick, we have a two-car garage with an automatic door opener. I don't want to go in there because it's a little warm and it'll steam up the camera. To the right, we have our, uh, in the garage, we have our water heater. This is a gas community. Mill Creek at Cypress Ridge is a gas community. The water heater is gas, your heater is gas. And when you build, you would have an option on whether or not you'd go with a gas um, a range. That's something you would build here. Now, uh, that you would choose then. Now this particular model, this particular home, you notice does not have a fireplace. That's another option you can choose. The fireplace would go right there. As it is, that's a deep alcove for your entertainment center. You have some underbuilding storage there to the left. And here we are looking back on our foyer, looking very good. It's about eight o'clock in the evening here on July 27th. Let's go see the master bedroom. Now I've uh, been working with these folks for a good while now when I say working with them as a buyer's agent, I bring my buyers over and part of the process with me as a buyer's agent is to compare new homes to resale homes. And I have had several of my buyers choose to build with DR Horton here at Mill Creek at Cypress Ridge. And you know, uh, one of the things that this builder developer knows and understands is that they fully expect you to have a buyer's agent working with you. The price to you is the same, whether you go it on your own, or if you bring in someone like myself, a buyer's agent, to help you make these comparisons and evaluations, they're happy to pay my commission. It's already in the price of the house, so it doesn't cost you anything more to have me as your buyer's agent. Someone with 38 years of Hilton Head and Bluffton real estate experience as your buyer's agent. And yes, by the way, a buyer's, the commission is the same for someone who's been in business for 38 years like myself, as it is for someone who's brand new with no experience. The commission is the same, the choice is yours. Would you like to have an experienced agent on your side? Or would you rather go it alone? Or maybe just take your chances? You just don't know, I just don't know. Well, here's our master bathroom. We're standing in the master bedroom with the double doors, tile floor, and I, I didn't say that this house is on slab. Every house in this community that I know about anyway, and I think it's 100%, is on a concrete slab. That means that they have good high ground. It means that you don't have a crawl space under your house. And of course, that is the source of a lot of problems with humidity and uh, other things, animals getting under your house, uh, insulation falling out from under your house, things like that. When you're on a slab, the earth is your best insulator, ladies and gentlemen. Here's our master bathroom. You have a double vanity that's a cultured marble top. If you're not familiar with cultured marble, it comes in a slab like granite, but it is man-made. It's quartz, dust, and resin. And then the basins are molded. You choose your hardware. You choose if you want to have a fixed wall mirror like that or a framed mirror or what kind of light fixture you would have. Here's our walk-in closet. It's a big one. Again, you would decide if you want to have cabinets, space maker shelving, or wire shelving and how much of it. We have paneled doors in this house. Very stylish. The quality is here. They build a good house. Here's our soaking tub, which is fiberglass. Again, you would decide if you'd rather have a cultured marble surround or a tile surround. And if you'd rather have a clear window or a frosted window, again, I'm not speaking for the developer. I'm just talking about, in general, how the process works. Here's your shower. And it has a very smart looking brushed metal frame here. This is a fiberglass shower. These new fiberglass products have really come a long way, ladies and gentlemen. Many of them look really good, but you still have your option of whether or not you'd like to have a tile shower, or would you like to have a cultured marble surround? Those are the types of things that you choose. And notice how this bathroom has both a separate shower and a separate tub. Many people like that, and frankly, uh, many of my buyers prefer just to have the shower in the master bathroom. Well, here you have both. 
Here's your water closet. Very common for a Hilton Head home to have a separate little room there for the toilet. I call it a water closet. And here again is another look at our master bedroom. And it has a lovely uh, attractive tray ceiling with the crown molding throughout the tray. Flat ceiling. Now I'm a big fan of 52 inch ceiling fans. I would recommend that when you're building that you have those put in. It will move the air around for you wonderfully well. Give you greater comfort and efficiency. Uh, and by the way, on that subject, I understand that uh, they have a very nice efficiency, energy efficiency package here. Uh, which would include a variety of uh, things, including the amount of insulation, roof deck insulation, some of the latest products. We can go into details on that when you call and when we come by to talk to the builder, if that's where we go. This would be our third bedroom. It's the middle left bedroom. And again, flat ceilings, double closet doors there. We have a little coat closet on the right. Here's our second bathroom. This again with the cultured marble top, integral basin, big wall mirror, very lovely uh, wall light there, your fiberglass tub and shower down at the end, and a tile floor. And at the front here, I personally like this room very much. This is your office or front bedroom, second bedroom if you will. The reason I like this room is because it has your cathedral ceiling, giving the room more volume. Beautiful Palladian window over those double hungs there. All these windows are vinyl clad with interior flat mullions for easy care. You have your closet with simple wire shelving. Of course, when you buy a new home, this is one reason why people like a new home. Well, everything's new. Everything's new. <laughs> All your carpet your uh, appliances, your heating and air, everything is new, it's clean, it's fresh, nothing quite like a new home. Well, before people get to that point where they want to buy a new home, one of the reasons they bring me in as their buyer's agent is because they want to see what the resale market is. Not everybody wants to go through the process of building a new home. So they want to see, hey, maybe they can just buy a home. Maybe one that's relatively new or some people do actually prefer older homes. So we go through the process of comparing communities and comparing homes that might have five or 10 years on them. And we go through all of that. And then uh, if they have not found a resale that they like, this being our second floor, fourth bedroom, three downstairs, one here, we come right across the hallway here, and this is the big bonus room. Could be a fifth bedroom, of course, because you have a bathroom between them. This is a very large room, ideal for, well, whatever you have in mind. Pool table, ping pong table, home office, home gymnasium, fitness. This is a very large room, very large, very large. This would be your fifth bedroom or the bonus room. Big double doors. You can see we have walk-in attics in this house. I like the Cumberland. I understand why it's a bestseller. I think the developer's done a great job on this floor plan. It's what a lot of people want. It really hits the highlights of what many people are looking for and delivers it at a good price. Again, the price of the one that's available today for sale, which is identical or very, very close to being like this one, $314,900. Dollars, 2,992 square feet. Here's our second floor bathroom. This is the third bathroom. We have three and a half baths in this house. Very similar to the second bathroom downstairs in every way. Cultured marble top, smart looking cabinets, tile floor, fiberglass tub and shower. Well, let's go out back, finish up. I'll give you my contact information. I think I've pretty much said what I came to say about this house, about this community, about new homes versus used, and about a buyer's agency. Well, the buyer's agent represents you, ladies and gentlemen. As I think I may have already said, every house that's listed has a agent representing the seller. And as a buyer's agent, I represent you. I don't try to sell you any particular house. I help you make your comparisons and decide for yourself what is best for you. 
This is the screen porch. Most people I work with like a screen porch and they like to have the additional patio out here next to their screen porch. Some people, some houses have this as covered. That is available to you. Others, well, it's not covered. Now again, this particular view on this house, it's not the end of it. They haven't finished. It's under, it's, they haven't finished with the landscaping. That's going to be a berm, a planted berm, but they have some beautiful woods out here. As the sun sets, we'll just walk around. Here's the one next door under construction. I have to tell you that the market here is very strong. Very strong for sellers right now. It's not that it's, uh, it's not that the party's over. It just means that the momentum has continued throughout this year, bringing higher prices on these homes. So builders like DR Horton do regularly, and by that I mean every few months. And again, not trying to speak for them, but just telling you how it generally works. They'll raise their price because their costs are going up based on supply and demand. As the lots sell off and the community is built out, they'll gradually raise their price. So there is an incentive to you to get here sooner rather than later. And this is what we're finding is that many people these days are able to come to the area and buy who were not able to buy last year, the year before. Interest rates are still very good. They have some very friendly programs here. And I don't just mean here at Mill Creek, I just mean in general, uh, the lenders have friendly programs. But speaking about DR Horton in particular, they do have some very friendly programs about how you can start building before you sell your house back home. It's one of the topics which comes up quite often with my buyers. And how do they do that? How will they, how will they get into a new house? Well, those are things that I'm here to help you with in every way if I can. And I certainly do my best with 38 years of experience helping buyers. I uh, bring a team of professionals to your assistance, which includes, of course, referring you to an attorney to do your closing, an inspector to make sure that you're getting what you pay for, and any kind of contractor or engineer, decorator, whoever we need to make sure that your interests are protected. We work for you. And again, there's no extra cost for that. So here we have a Mill Creek sunset, ladies and gentlemen, through the trees, 8.15 in the evening. Thank you very much for watching this video. My contact information is my cell phone, 843-684-2933. It's 843-684-2933. My email address, rich at gogated.com, R-I-C-H at G-O-G-A, TED.com, like Gated Communities, and my website is gogated.com. Of course, you can find me on LinkedIn. You can find my Facebook page at Go Gated Hilton Head Real Estate. And if you like this video, you can find more at the Go Gated channel on YouTube. Please subscribe. It's a good way to stay up with the market. What I really recommend, of course, is that you share your real estate needs with me. Let me send you a list of all of the homes in the Hilton Head and Bluffton area that could possibly meet your needs in a format that will update automatically for you. And it will include all price changes, new listings, foreclosures, short sales. It's the best way to monitor your personal real estate market, ladies and gentlemen. And I do personally, I do work with my buyers, of course, and teach you how to buy short sales and foreclosures successfully. Now the short sales is a whole new topic. Do another video on that entirely, of course. But just let's get acquainted. Let's work together to find the home that you're looking for here in 2014. This one today, again listed with DR Horton, is the Cumberland, one of their best sellers. I think that you can see now why that's true. You have not just the master bedroom on the first floor, you have three bedrooms on the first floor. They do have a lesser expensive option on this house that does not have the upstairs, does not have the fourth bedroom or the bonus room. And you can load it up with all the goodies that you like, like the granite, the wood, uh, the stainless steel, or you can keep it a little simpler and keep your price down. There's also many two-story family homes in this neighborhood. 
and the recreational amenities are quite good. You are in Buford County, so the kids go to the Buford County Schools. And we're out here on Route 170 in Bluffton. We're about equidistant between Hilton Head Island, Savannah, Georgia, and Buford, South Carolina. A very good place to be. Well, please call me or email. Look forward to uh, meeting you. Let's work together to find the home that you're looking for. Thank you again very much for watching this video today and I certainly look forward to hearing from you.